Hi Capricorn, welcome to your love reading. This is going to be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising. Keep in mind these are general messages so they may or may not resonate. I'm going to let you know how your person feels, what you can expect going forward, their next move and so on. So the person that Capricorn has in mind, what is their energy towards Capricorn? What's this person's energy towards Capricorn? Ten of Wands. Okay. Some of you are dealing with someone who is dealing a lot, dealing with a lot. They need, they feel they need to take a break. Ten of Wands and Four of Swords. So they, this person is trying to release a burden. So if they're trying to take a break from the relationship, it, it's because that they feel stressed. We have the Wheel of Fortune. So if there has been any like sudden changes, this could be like weighing heavy on this person. What's Capricorn's energy towards their person? Six of Wands. Okay. Page of Cups. Two of Pentacles. I see that some of you, some of you are wanting to reach out to them. I feel like you don't know that this person is dealing with stress. I feel like you are, you know, in a good mood and everything. But this person is they feel burdened by something. I don't even know if it's something in the relationship. They just seem to need a break. We have the five of wands as well. So maybe you guys may have recently had conflicts with this person. They may still be taking that seriously. What is the recent past energy for Capricorn? Recent past energy. So we have the sun. Seven of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. So they could be a Leo for some of you, but there was some, someone felt like they were waiting in vain here. There could have been, I'm, I'm feeling for some of you, feeling stood up by this person at times. What's the energy of this connection? Emperor could be an Aries for some of you, but Eight of Swords, control and power is a thing in this relationship. Maybe both of you are fighting for the the control or fighting to see who has who has the upper hand in the relationship. It could be a power struggle for some of you um, with this person, and there's this stuck energy. This energy of feeling stuck. What is going to happen in the near future for Capricorn? What's the near future energy? Ooh. Too many cards, too many cards. I feel like you may have had some recent struggles but it's all a part of the plan for your near future so we have the four of pentacles the tower and the ten of swords two of swords also why this ten of swords for capricorn Looks like something is getting ready to happen. Two of Swords again by the tower. There's going to be some type of ending for some type of new beginning to come in. Some type of sudden, sudden event. You have a tower moment coming up. It's going to put something to an end. I don't know if it's to do with your relationship or something else. But there is this. There is this moment coming up and I feel like it leads you to what you're supposed to be doing. If 
Five of Cups. Could be something to do with Korea. For some of you. Let me see. Let me look at your main thread and see how your person feels. There is definitely something coming up. Let me see if it's to do with the relationship. Okay, how are they feeling about Capricorn? How is this person feeling about Capricorn? How are their feelings towards Capricorn? dealing with a Virgo but well okay so they are seeing you as a three of pentacles three of pentacles three of wands and they they it seems to, it seems that they feel like you're waiting for them because they did have that ten of wands so and they did have the four of swords so it looks like they were planning to take some kind of break so they know that you're waiting or they just think that you're waiting doesn't mean you are, but their feelings seem to be up and down. This person seems to be having mood swings, like their feelings keep changing. Not that they're losing feelings for you, but it's just, I feel like it's more so their mood. One minute they're in the mood, next minute they're not. Um, we have the Knight of Swords as... How they view in the relationship, it seems that there's a challenge here. Your commitment here has been tested. They don't want to be in this state of anxiety. They kind of want to gain back some control in their life, some confidence, but they seem to be falling more towards the Nine of Swords. Six of Pentacles and the King of Cups blocking. For some of you, this could be a person, as in maybe you moved on from this person, you're with someone else, and this person is blocking, but for some of for a lot of you I don't feel like it's a person it's more so this person's emotions their emotional state and we have the queen of swords hermit and the fool five of cups so they're in the feeling like they feel like they've lost something here there is this burden type feeling we have, um, with the Queen of Swords, they're, they're gonna eventually be really guarded. And it's like, I feel like it's like the world is coming down on this person and they are trying to keep it together. It's like personal issues for them. Um, position of what you need to know is the Hermit. So they could be going, they could be withdrawing due to stress but their outcome is a fool so there's some type of leap of faith that they're going to take they're not really going to stay down or be depressed what can capricorn expect going forward what's going on with capricorn Pentacles. Holding on. Okay. So we have the lovers. They could be a Gemini. 
for some of you, but you do have feelings for them. There's feelings there for sure. They could be an Aries with the Emperor. But I see um, that you are in the mood to reconcile. You have the Three of Cups, but you're seeing your person as a Nine of Wands. So you know that they're kind of holding back. You know that there's something going on with them because you're seeing them as a Nine of Wands. You are also seeing the relationship as a Knight of Swords. You both are. So you both know that there's a huge test in your commitment going on right now. There is a huge pressure. There is just, you know, a lot of road roadblocks right now. You are fearing the Five of Swords. You don't want the conflict. You know, you don't want the whole back and forth going on. We have the Hierophant, the Emperor, Queen of Wands. So you both have a person blocking. For some of you, this does look like, I mean, for some of you, not all, not a lot of you, it, it looks like you moved on. You guys moved on from each other to new people, but both are still thinking about each other. But for most of you, I feel like this is the current connection. Um, the Hierophant, you do want some order in the relationship, like you want some, you want it to be stable, you want it, everything to be done a certain way. Maybe tradition for some of you, or your person wants things that way. Your next move is a Three of Wands. They are seeing you as a three of one, so I guess they are right. You do plan on waiting because you know that there's someone coming towards you, this person. But the position of what you need to know is the eight of cups, so yes, because they do have the hermit. So they have emotionally distanced themselves. They have closed off. I was seeing from the beginning that they do want to take a break. Your outcome is a knight of cups. Some of you might be extending a hand to them. Let's see, what other messages for Capricorn? Shattered, separation, surrender, and patience. So I definitely see a reconciliation. It's just that right now everything's being tested. The separation and shattered is like surrender to the universe. Let it, let it flow. Let things unfold naturally. What well, the love messages for Capricorn? We have worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. So we got patience and worth waiting for. It looks like you guys are making up very soon. We have deception. Someone's wearing a false mask in this relationship. I do feel like they're not... Um, they're not showing the amount of stress that they're dealing with. They may be wearing a mask of everything is okay, but they seem to be really stressed. They've expressed your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture and release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. So that's for those of you who are dealing with an ex situation. Um, romantic feelings, your feelings are real and worth exploring. I see some of you might go towards this person. I don't see you doing it yet. I see you giving them a break, giving them some time, but let me see. What's the advice for Capricorn? Emotions are running high. A personal issue reaches resolution. Don't let your past hold you back and have faith in your dreams. So, this issue is, is going to be resolved very soon. It's just going to take some patience. Emotions are running high. I do feel like this person is dealing with a lot of stress. They are trying to avoid falling into this nine of swords. And because I feel like because of their stress, that's why, they're, that's why their emotions are so up and down. Their feelings for you are so changey because the stress may become overwhelming where they can't even think about that. You know but soon that will that will improve all right so it's just a matter of time here 
So Capricorn, this is what I'm seeing for you. Check your other placements if you want to know what else to expect. I hope this was helpful. Leave a like if it was. Subscribe if you're new. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.